Hi everybody, uh, welcome to the channel. I'm Paul Jeffries, and in this uh, <coughs> episode, we're going to be stripping down the Rich and Longman engine, uh, which has had a, a failure, bottom end failure. Um, I did put a video up, a short video last night, explaining uh, about the engine. Um, so basically, this is going to be part one. Um, I'm probably going to do a series on this engine of stripping it down, um, sorting it all out and doing a rebuild on the engine. So from, from the state it's in now up to a fully running engine again. So uh, what I'll start doing, I'm, I'm, got, I'm going to remove the cylinder head now. Um, I won't film that because it's been done hundreds of times on YouTube. So um, I'll get the cylinder head off or I'll get it ready to pull off. Uh, I'll take all the studs, um, all the yeah, you know, undo all the head, take the rocker shaft off, and everything else. And then what I'll do, I'll start recording again, just before I actually lift the cylinder head off to see if there's any damage at the top end. So, right, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I removed all the head bolts. Some of the studs came out with them. Um, I have not lifted this head off yet. So, what I see is what you're going to see. Or the other way around. So here we go. Oh dear me. Wow. Gee. Can you. Gee, hang on a minute. I need to. Uh... I could do with unclipping this. I'm just going to unclip the camera off and I'm going to show you closer up and get it out of this stand. That's it. Right. Let's see where are we? Let's just flip it around so I can see properly. Right, okay, there you've got number one. Number two, there's no piston in there. <laughs> Number three and number four. So what the hell? That's the get. That's just a head gasket. That is. There's bits of piston. Bits of piston here. If you look down there, we've well, got to see very well. There's the crank journal. Jesus, that is bad. Wow. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the head studs out now, the rest of them. I'm going to turn the engine upside down. I'll get the clutch off, floor wheel, uh, transfer casing and whatnot. I'll undo all the gearbox bolts and then I'll come back when uh, I'm ready to lift the gearbox off and see what's going on in the uh, bottom end. See you in a bit. Okay, before I uh, start taking the, uh, undoing the gearbox bolts and whatnot, I just thought I'd show you the head. Now, it actually hasn't damaged the head. Um, that's obviously number two. There's some bits of alloy on it from the Omega piston that's obviously exploded. Um, but the head is actually not damaged, which is very, a good thing because this is a Longman GT14 head and it wouldn't be cheap to replace. I need like a refurb and that obviously, but it, it actually hasn't damaged the casting or anything of it. So I just thought I'd uh, just drop that quick clip in before I start taking the clutch and stuff off. Right, see you in a bit. Okay, I've got the floor wheel off and the clutch and uh, transfer case now I've just noticed in number two bore which is the one that failed there is if I can get sort of get into it there there it's punched a hole in the bore so that block is now scrap right onto the gearbox Okay, right, I've uh, undone all the gearbox bolts. I have um, loosened it from the bottom of the block because sometimes they can stick. You'll have to uh, ignore the, the noise, it's starting to rain. 
Um, well, I'm just about to lift this off now, and then I'll grab, once I put the gearbox on the floor, take my gloves off, and uh, I'll give a close-up. I haven't seen this yet, so here we go. Jeez. Wow. Oh, fuck. Well, there's the con rod. Slightly bent. Slightly broken. That's what was sticking out the back of the gearbox. I thought I thought it was the small end. I thought, no, it can't be, but it was. Uh, right. Gearbox. Doesn't look too bad. The gears, I mean. The gearbox, the actual casing, is knackered, but... Right, I'll get my gloves off and I'll yeah, show the close up of this. Get my camera out the thing. Let's flip it round. Right. That is one hell of a mess. Bits of piston. Wow. The crank's had it. There's bits of bits of stuff. I don't know whether you can see. Let's try and get a torch. We've got a torch somewhere. One second. I did have a torch. Where's it gone? Where did I put it? Where is that gone? I can't find it. Oh well. Yes, sir. One sec. I'll try. And, I'll, get, I'll grab hold of my torch and I'll be right back. My right, torch is right under my nose. Right. Let's see if we can get any. See bits of stuff down there. Bits of rod and and there. Try and get the torch lights in. Bits of rod. But that, that was just all resting on there as I've just took the gearbox off. Just resting. Bits of piston. You know, what's this here? What's that? Oh, it's another part of the piston. Wow. Wow. There you go. Right, the next video, um, I'm going to be stripping the gearbox down. Uh, obviously, there's no point in taking that crank out because it ain't no good anyway. Um, unless I can get the block um, line, uh, linered because it has punched the hole in I know, a small hole in the, in the cylinder in the cylinder wall on number two. So. Um, I'll have a word in the machine shop or we'll take the block down there and see if they can do anything with it, liner it. If it can be linered, then it can be safe, but obviously I want to check the block first once I've got the crank out. I will take the crank out. But look how hot that's got. That has got hot as hell. Still the blue marking. Gee. And this exploded on takeover. The car was sat on the drive on takeover. Mad. Right, people. Uh, I'll end this one here. Uh, the next one will be... Uh, I'll continue to strip the engine down. I just wanted to see what the damage was in this one, really. But you can see it's quite bad. Um, and I'll be expecting the gearbox. The gearbox is going to be stripped anyway because it needs a new casing. But the gears, so far, don't look too bad. But I'll, I'll really, I'll, I will look at it properly. Right then, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care everybody. Bye for now.